if I show you my 100 baby challenge house, you have to promise not to judge me, okay? Cause like the more I scroll out here, the worse it gets. <laughs> but this is the house that I've been using to play the 100 baby challenge over on my Twitch channel. And I'm mostly kidding. Like obviously it's chaotic cause I have things like a shark pond and a whole bunch of graves and a giant Peppa Pig statue. But the reason I wanted to show you this is because I've kind of hacked the challenge just a little bit. Believe it or not, this is a micro home. Like using the tiny living pack, there are so many benefits from micro homes that it almost feels like cheating. Of course, the downside is that micro homes are only 32 tiles, but this is not <laughs> 32 tiles. It's clearly a lot bigger than that. So how did I do it? As far as the game is concerned, the only actual room in this house is this little living room. It's 30 tiles and that's the only thing the game thinks is a room. The rest of it is all fake rooms, which I realize sounds really weird. So let me explain real quick. The game game sees a room as like a build feature, right? A room is something that you can click on, you can drag it, you can make it bigger, you can pick it up, you can move it around, you can rotate it. And that's how the tiny house works. It's all based on tiles. So right now it's 46 tiles. When I delete it, it goes back to being 30. So the difference is that this part is a room and the rest of these are just walls formed into a square. And I mean that quite literally. So when I was building the house, instead of drawing the walls and closing them like I would normally, because that makes it into a room, I instead just draw three of the walls Walls, build another one a little bit farther away and then drag that in because you can see here the game does not think that's a room and then I just put a flooring in there I put a roof on top and then it looks like a room it feels like it's inside they don't get rained on they don't get snowed on and I still get to keep my tiny house perks <laughs> so there's a couple weird downsides to this the first one being I don't know if you can tell but the lighting is really strange these two floorings are the same color but the other rooms that are not rooms have like outdoor lighting applied just to the floor. So the flooring kind of has like a weird bluish hue to it across all of the rooms. The rest of the furniture and the walls are clearly fine. It's just the flooring that's a little bit off. The next big glaring question is like, how's the weather situation? And the weather is fine. We have a roof still, so they don't get rained on. It's kind of like when I do my rags to riches and I have Stanley just live in a place like this. <laughs> it's not ideal, but it's fine, right? And it's been really useful because having the double skill gain makes this challenge so much easier. And so what I was thinking is that maybe we could build another baby challenge micro home today, but make one that's a little bit more attainable for the average person because this is extremely chaotic. Perhaps we instead make one that has like a reasonable number of packs, maybe a reasonable budget, and all of this in honor of the one year anniversary of the infant update coming out. With all of my recent baby challenge experience, if I could impart just one piece of wisdom onto you, it would be to not do this challenge. But if for some reason you're gonna do it anyway. I wanna give you some tools to do it a little bit better. I'm thinking I'll build it just here in Willow Creek. And I think we'll have a budget of like 50,000 because that's pretty reasonable. I think most people can afford that when they're playing a challenge like this pretty easily. Then we'll just swap it into a tiny home and get started. Now there's a couple issues here. First of all, this is 32 tiles. So that's the max of actual room space that we can have. So if we wanted to have a second floor, the only issue is that it can only be on top of that main room. So I don't really know if the second floor thing is gonna work for us. I actually do kind of like the idea of there being a second floor. We're just gonna have to like make sure that we make this look good because <laughs> it has to be quite small. It also really complicates making the floor plan because you have to be so careful with how you place the walls and stuff. But I guess this might be nice because we could have a dedicated second floor primary bedroom. And then as far as the rest of the downstairs goes, I guess it's gonna have to be like really, really wide. <laughs> it's gonna be a very long and skinny house. I don't really even know if I like this, but I think we're gonna need a lot of space to put all of the kids stuff in So I'm probably just gonna commit to it. Yikes. <laughs> this is very chaotic in a bad way. Okay, scoot that over Well, imagine if this becomes the kids room and we put like all the kids stuff in there We could have the kitchen living and dining space down here We're also gonna want to have like a toddler room and a public bathroom Which sounds really weird when I say it out loud But I like to do like one big bathroom that basically has bathroom stalls because it's easier access for everything. I think I might make this into a skill building room so we can do our painting in there. Oh, hello. <laughs> there was like a construction sound. Oh my God. Let me just see really quickly if this is even roofable because <laughs> I don't actually know. We do have to be kind of careful about overhangs because you don't want them to clip in there and they will. Oh God, I don't really know about this. <laughs> 
<laughs> I'm not so sure. I think I need to put a single tile up there just so I can get a roof on this top floor. Hmm, okay. I don't know about recording today. <laughs> There's gonna be this sort of noise happening. You can hear that, right? It's gonna be fine. Everything's totally fine. Let's just pretend it's not happening, okay? So if we have a little front porch, I think that helps. We can fill that in and then put some like flooring or something. This part of the roof is gonna be like so extremely wide. I don't know if that's even okay. I'm wondering if we could try to like build it out like this, <laughs> but probably not, right? The roofing and the floor plan of a build like this is basically a puzzle. I feel like it almost would have been better if it was just one story too. I hate to admit that, but this is what I get for trying to be fancy and like put the second floor up there. <laughs> it doesn't need it. Well, let me just go through before I figure out the back, let me figure out how I want to put the rest of this place together. Cause I had been thinking that possibly we'd have a living room in this room. Let me just put some base game furniture, almost like filler for now. Okay. And then this will become the kitchen. And I'm actually thinking that this part might be the infant room, either infant room or bathroom. Cause I guess I could make this bigger if I wanted to. Oh, wait a minute. Maybe this should be the bathroom. <laughs> wait, wait, wait. I've got an idea. Okay. So if this is going to be the bathroom, we're going to want it to be a little bit bigger. I can drag these out to get us some more space. This, the back, this is a mess. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I get for trying to get all this extra room. Okay, I think I kind of figured it out. And the reason I'm doing this is because in this challenge, it's so helpful to have access to a ton of toilets and showers. These showers are nice because your sim can shower in there in front of people. They're like closed off. So nobody gets embarrassed in that shower. Obviously the stalls are great. Nobody gets embarrassed. So you can fit a lot of bathrooms in a relatively small space. And then I like to put like a, a bathtub room almost so you can bathe the toddlers. And I'll typically try to put that bathtub room a little bit closer to where the infants and toddlers are kind of like this so layout wise right now I'm thinking we do some infant stuff in this room I'll put like two of these play mats <laughs> and then basically just some cribs because that's all you need I don't use the changing tables in this challenge I've learned my lesson it's actually not that helpful for the sake of time it's better to just not take care of their hygiene need and I know that sounds really bad but you only have to bathe the babies once technically because they get milestones from being bathed and then you can age them up the rules that I play by have you trying to get two milestones in every category for all of the kids. Uh oh, why is that happening in there? Is it because of this? Oh, it's because of that. Okay, that's gonna clip a little bit. Oh no. Yeah, you see how the outdoor lighting is blue? And then when I fix this, all the furniture is gonna be less blue. The floor is still blue, but not the furniture. I'm currently trying to figure out how I can make this look less bad. I think that maybe this needs to be smaller, but that looks kind of ridiculous. Maybe if we like shrink it just a bit, because I guess I could drag this all the way out. We can put that into the roof and then maybe I could continue this part down the side. Oh my God. This is one of the ugliest builds I've ever made. <laughs> oh no. I'm actually really embarrassed right now. Like genuinely embarrassed by how bad I think Think this looks um yikes 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 okay well it doesn't have to look good we're trying to get as much space as we can so it can be functional right <laughs> Okay, well, the one other thing that I like to do that I think is very important is I like to have a homework building. Basically what I'll do is get a big giant space that I fill with school projects for my Sims to work on. So I'm thinking I'll put one of those in this house too. I like to use the school projects. Oh, sorry, don't do that. I like to use the school projects to build skills and get their school performance up. So something like that might be good. We've got plenty of space for random skill building. I'm sorry, the upstairs is so ugly. Genuinely, I'm so sorry. <laughs> this was not my intention. I didn't think it was gonna be this bad. Okay, I'm gonna get an extra bathroom up here just because it's easier to have more. We will unfortunately be doing base game cheap flooring. Um, yikes. <laughs> <laughs> this is what I mean by the lighting glitch. Okay, so I found that when you put this in there, it's not the worst thing in the world. So I might try that, at least in like one of the rooms. Maybe we could get this one too, cause that it's blue on purpose. So when the lighting is blue, it's not as annoying. Okay, I'm gonna put a sliding door to the outside. And then for the front door, I'm just gonna get some kind of simple windows, I guess. And then we can go through and put these around. It's gonna have generic suburban energy. And I know, I'm really sorry. It's just, we have to kind of be realistic about this. We're already cheating enough. Like there's only so much that we can do. We have to make do with what we have. Oh God, <laughs> I don't like it. I don't like it at all. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna come back to that. I wanna show you a couple of the other things that you absolutely need for this challenge. If you have get to work, there's a couple of fridges in this pack that are complete game changers. It's these refrigerated displays and like baker's cases that come and get to work. These are really good because you can stick them out here and it works like a fridge, but it's open. So you can put food in that and then toddlers can grab food on their own without you having to take food out of the fridge for them. So with this, you kind of get 
self-sufficient toddlers. If you have toddler stuff, you're gonna wanna get this slide because this is how toddlers can build their movement skill really easily. Otherwise, I'd recommend buying like a radio and having them dance. If you have dream home decorator, this thing is gonna change your life. All you need to do is have your sim play in there a couple times and they basically max the imagination skill instantly. If you don't have parenthood, I probably would not even attempt this challenge. I know that sounds pretty sad, but like it won't be fun for you. <laughs> having parenthood is such a game changer because I use these school projects and your sims can just do these, get their skills up. You can basically max them with the tiny home almost instantly. And then they get a bunch of school performance from it as extra credit and then you can age them up quicker because the rules of the challenge are to have your sims get an A in school and then age them up. I'd actually recommend the chemical reaction volcano one because when children do this, they gain the mental skill, but they also get a little bit of logic. And then when teens do it, they get more logic. So it kind of sets you up quick for when they do become a teen. And then last, if you have luxury party, or wedding stories, which I know is a weird combo. <laughs> Get this buffet table. These like banquet tables are so good because you can click on this and immediately serve food. You get a ton of food really quickly and then you don't have to cook anything. I'm gonna put that, I usually just keep it outside, but I guess we could put it in the kitchen if we can find space, I'm not sure. I like to have kind of rainbow energy in these builds too. Uh oh, there's not as much space in here as I thought there was. Um, Let me just get some like default furniture quick. Maybe I can reorganize this. What if we have, that thing there. Can I put this here or is that too close? I guess it's probably too close. Scoot that. Scoot this. They can get through that, right? <laughs> Maybe not very easily, but they should be able to, right? I guess we don't really need dining tables that much. It might be better for ease of access for your sims to not have one. And also when I play this challenge, I often prefer to have them eat like in the living room and watch TV because then they build fun while they do it. So it's more effective. Oh, and one other thing is if you're gonna have this, you're probably gonna wanna put like some sort of chair or or like stool or something, just a living chair that toddlers can get in. And you're gonna wanna put that right next to this thing because the toddlers will grab their food and walk to the nearest chair to eat it. So if you just get ahead of it and give them a chair to sit in, then they won't walk halfway across the house, which will save you some time. I'm gonna get cheap kitchen stuff. Cause like I just explained, we have a better method for cooking and it involves not cooking. So I won't make us buy like an expensive fridge or anything. I will get the money trash can cause that's a lifesaver. It makes the floor look gray. It's so difficult to decorate around this when it looks so weird together. I'm gonna use this wallpaper and then I guess we'll pick a tile. A lot of the ideas you might have about like color theory, <laughs> you know, use an orangey tone tile because then the blue makes it look less bad. It like neutralizes it, but no, no, it it's like the blue tone. It just looks like a weird shadow. So all of the ideas I have that I think might work usually don't, but maybe we just try and like cover it with a rug because then you can't see it as much. Okay, that's a start. <laughs> Put the rug, cover it up. Yeah, I'm gonna use mostly base game furniture inside of the house just because then it's more easily downloadable. I know I've put a ton of pack content, but if we can try and limit it slightly for you, I will. I don't know if having things like a microwave is worse because does that make them do annoying things like try to use the microwave? Cause I don't really want them to be doing that. I don't want them to like use the microwave or, you know, God forbid make coffee. Cause it gets so annoying when they do. I think I'll just call it like that in this room. I'd like to use another fun tile. Do you think this purple and green would be cute? Do these come in purple? No. They come in green, but it's like ugly green. I don't know about this. <laughs> you also have to be careful when you're doing this because if you shift click, it paints like the whole room, which is the wall. So you can't really do the hotkeys and stuff that you're used to because it messes things up a little bit. I don't really intend to potty train any toddlers, but I'll put a couple toddler potties just in case. And I'll get some mirrors above the bathroom sinks. Okay, well the bathroom's done. That covers everything that we need. I hate the floor. I'm so sorry. <laughs> it's horrible. It's actually horrible. We want to get like, the best bed that we can from the packs that we're using. Obviously we have tiny living. That's kind of like the whole point of this build. And that bed is decent. Parenthood might be better. It's only energy four, but it does have discomfort relief. And here's my recommendation for beds. I, you can kind of get away with having less than this, but you just never really know what collection of Sims you'll have. Like, are you gonna have six children and teens? Are you gonna have six toddlers all at once? Like you kind of have to prepare for any collection of those things. So I'll put six beds because that works nicely for them. The reason I didn't use bunk beds is
is because most of the bunk beds are like worse. They're more expensive. They're not as cute. The idea here is to eventually upgrade to like the better beds in the game and you don't have like energy eight on bunk beds. So you want to leave space to put single beds and prepare yourself for the future. The toddler beds are all the same. They're all energy three. So you can kind of use whatever you want. And I think three toddler beds is usually enough. At least it has been for me in my gameplay recently. This bill is so ugly. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I don't know how I got myself in this situation. Maybe I should remove that stuff and I should just put toddler potties in there. This room is specifically for bathing toddlers. I want to do a different color bed for every single one of these. Look at how fun that is. Okay, this is like the exact vibes that I was going for. I'm just warning you now, it's going to be really chaotic in this room. I'm kind of planning on doing like the absolute most. But when else do you get a chance to do this? That's the thing. This is the 100 baby challenge. You just got to take it and run with it. When I built the last house for this, I actually did try and give them a little bit of privacy. I don't know if that's entirely necessary. I know that sounds bad, but like it's the 100 baby challenge. Like they don't need to have privacy. They just need a place to sleep. Again, I know that sounds so bad. I might actually build a wall around the toddler space though, just to give them a little bit more room away from the babies. Honestly, I probably also wouldn't attempt this challenge without growing together at this point because growing together is really helpful and it's kind of more fun to play when you have growing together. Obviously you can do whatever you want and there are rules for with and without those packs, but I kind of don't like the baby challenge. So <laughs> I just keep trying to offer ways to like not play it. I'm like, maybe don't do this, but if you're gonna do it, here's a tip. Oh, you can't do columns. Oh my God, that's so annoying. I forgot about that. They have to be small columns, otherwise they clip. I think all the columns kind of clip. Oh no. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that I just dealt with this in the other house that I've been playing in. I think I just let it be with the columns and I ignored them in the corners because you do see it there, but we have to just deal with some visual glitches. The whole point of this is to get the perks. So let's embrace it and focus on getting the perks. Oh, that one's glitching and now it's not. Okay, whatever. <laughs> That's fine. Maybe this stuff is better for our little toddler corner and we could do a more normal or less chaotic wallpaper <laughs> behind the kids beds. <gasps> oh, I'm doing that. Can I do like bright yellow on the rest of the walls? What if I did a different color on every wall? Yeah, that's really chaotic, but I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> I think it's fun. So one other thing that I found incredibly helpful in this challenge is having a whole bunch of Blarfies. Cause this way you can have multiple Sims playing with Blarfy all at once to get their skills up. Blarfies for toddlers are like, they have magical powers. You, you cannot do without them. I don't really end up using the toddler blocks all that often either. Cause I use the slide more, but those might also be helpful. And to be honest, I might just put the slide in the bedroom. In this challenge recently, I haven't really been giving a lot of toys for the children. It's, it's been more focused on toddler toys and the kids just do their school projects, but it's not about them having fun. It's about them them succeeding. So sometimes you just got to do it. Even if it feels mean, you just have to commit. And I think that might be our bedroom areas finished. I'd like to add more decor in here, but you don't really need it for the infants. So I might hold off on that until later. Let me quick buy a couple things for the primary bedroom upstairs. I'm still committed to the budget and I think that we're going to be okay. The goal is always to get the best bed that you can afford. So if you download this house, I might tell you to like swap it out for whatever is the best one that you can afford to use. It kind of stinks because some of the better beds are a little bit ugly, but again, you just want to use the best you can get your hands on. Even if that means it's a little bit ugly sometimes, it's just good because you get like the energy boosts and stuff. And when you're trying to raise this many kids, you need all the help you can get. This little corner is actually pretty good for our easel. I like to use the painting skill in this challenge. I find it kind of helpful. Something else to consider is if you've got any lights, like these are the Sims 3 rewards. So if you own the Sims 3 late at night, you get this romantic decor light. But if you've got any other sorts of items in the game that have romantic decor, like, like that date reward basket you get, those sorts of things that you can get your sims into a flirty mood with are also very helpful. I'm actually gonna make this into an ensuite bathroom and I'd like to put a desk up here in the hallway. I don't know if that's a bad idea, but I'm gonna put some sort of desk table and I'm gonna scoot it way into the wall as far as I can. Let me see if my sim can still get up here. I'm not really sure. Oh, well, that's fine. Okay, never mind. Easy. <laughs> that was really easy. A couple other skill things like the cork board maybe. All right, we've put off the living room long enough. I think I'm gonna try and use some Something kind of fun. I like this purple color scheme. Maybe that's a bad idea. I don't know, but I do like the purple a lot. I think that's really pretty. Okay. Even if I can't get any furniture outside of just this, I think that's a good starting point because we have a nice TV. There's plenty of places to sit. I'll get like a generic photo on the wall. If I were playing in this house, I might 
uh, delete the underside of the stairs and put a basement staircase under there, just stack them and then have like a space to put all of my graves. But I won't force that upon you. I know not everybody has a desire to keep a grave basement in their baby challenge house. <laughs> Some of you might, but not everybody does. <laughs> Oh my god, it is so ugly. When I look at the outside, I feel sad. <laughs> the inside's not great either, but it's not terrible. I'm just gonna do something simple on the walls. I'm worried that I can't afford anything else, so I'm doing the bare minimum right now. I think I should probably also get a thermostat, and we'll put that right here by the front door. And maybe that's the whole downstairs interior finished. Oh, I almost forgot about this room. <laughs> that's my bad, that's my bad, hold on. This room is literally just going to be the school projects, by the way, and I'm not kidding about that. <laughs> Why do the columns glitch. Oh my god. I might need to like rotate them or something. I started doing this school project room thing when I had a slight issue in my challenge where I had my sims working on their school projects outside and then they got struck by lightning twice and died. So I learned you cannot have them work on school projects outside and then the school project room was born. Okay, House generically furnished. Let's think about exterior a little bit more too. There's a lot of things that I might try to do if I was using packs. Like for example, and I had one of these in my old baby challenge house and I never used it, but you might put like a splash pad over here in the corner. Oh, you know what? Actually, instead of making it a splash pad, what if we like put the splash pad stuff, but then decorated it as if it was like a little kid's playground? <laughs> Cause that might be kind of a cute way to furnish part of this. And we can even use like the toddler stuff fence or something just to have some fun little decor. I often have gardens cause it's helpful to like have a hobby for your sim who's having all the babies. <laughs> and then gardens are also a nice way to make money. Insufficient funds, oh my. Okay, it was worth 50,000, right? Let's make it worth like 55,000 just so we can do a little bit more on the outside. <laughs> I didn't realize that was running that low on money. I think that what we really need is a large collection of trees to help cover up this weird building. Cause I absolutely despise how it's looking. <laughs> I think we need to do something different. In the past, I've had a lot of pink baby challenge houses and I think that's cute. Oh my God, look at it in the sun. Why, why is it glowing like that? <laughs> Oh no. Okay, so also on the back patio, I think that we're gonna wanna have some sort of table and chairs. I'm gonna do a pretty big mix of debug landscaping and real landscaping. I just don't think we have as much debug stuff as I feel like I would need in the base game to achieve what I want out of this. Is that clipping? Oh yeah, that's super clipping. Okay, <laughs> never mind. And then we can go into debug. It's mostly just bushes that I feel like we're lacking, but for flowers, we can totally use debug. And there are a couple nice bushes that we can put in. I might try and layer these in a couple of places. Maybe that helps make it look a little bit different from my other builds, which is what we need, because right now it's kind of repetitive. <laughs> but I was kind of picturing these sorts of flowers put in. I don't think that's that bad. I think the shape of the building is still kind of bad, but We've moved past that. At this point, that's a little bit out of our control, right? So let's just ignore it and do what we can. And then when I do stuff like this, I like to leave a lot of open space in the yard that maybe I normally wouldn't. Like normally I'd put a pool here or something, but with a challenge like this, you just never know what you're gonna need. Like in my baby challenge right now, I've been trying to get to space. So I have a rocket ship. So I, I kind of feel tempted to leave a lot of open patio space just because if you're gonna play in this house, you might need space for a rocket ship. Like, I don't know what you're gonna be doing. We've gotta give you room to grow. Okay, trash can right here. A Little bit of terrain paint put in the rest of these open spaces. And maybe I can mix in a little bit of these little flowers on the ground just because they help give some dimension. Okay, you know what? I think it might be done. Unless we wanted to add a couple other things like maybe last minute little skill building type things or hello. Oh my gosh. <laughs> the neighbors have been doing some sort of construction all day. They're like drilling outside my window. I'm trying to record a bunch today because we're getting a new air conditioning unit installed tomorrow. I don't even want to talk about it. I can't even begin to express how stressed I am about this. So they're going to be in here in my office all day. So I'm trying to record a bunch today so I can be ahead because I can't record tomorrow. And well, <laughs> now there's people drilling. Oh, but of course there is. Okay, I might also get some like monkey bars or something. The last thing I was thinking was like maybe a chess table in the front. You don't really need a chess table in this challenge. It's not like the most useful thing in the world, but it wouldn't hurt to have. It's always good to have extra skill building options and stuff. And there's a lot of room to grow. So I think that we might call it a day. Sorry about the weird shape, but hey, the game thinks it's a micro home. <laughs> so it's pretty good there. I'm gonna put it on the gallery. 100 baby micro home. How many bedrooms would you say this is? I guess it's technically like two, but <laughs> it has way more than that. I'm gonna say it's three. And I guess it's technically only three bathrooms, but it has way more than that as well. All right, hashtag Lil Simsy, hashtag 100 baby. 
baby. It is up on the gallery. I'm sorry that the outside looks bad. I don't know what to tell you. <laughs> I did what I could. <laughs> don't worry about the outside. Worry about the inside. And maybe just don't play the challenge at all. That might be better. But if you do want to play it, hopefully I've given you some tips. And if you want to come by and watch my 100 baby challenge, I've been playing it over on my Twitch channel. We've had like 69 babies. So we're getting there. <laughs> we are getting there. But with that, I'm gonna go. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful rest of your day. Hopefully the drilling isn't too annoying and I'm gonna catch you all tomorrow, okay? Bye everybody. This was really fun for me, actually. I love just trying to think about what's best for challenges like this. I really enjoy doing these builds, so hopefully you liked it too.